one more time. I remain Usama Kima Bonza. Mr. Speaker, I have seen the motion well articulated and well put down, but I am mindful to speak against this motion, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, just last two days, precisely last night, we were in Lagos, also taking a lecture and briefing on this non-interest banking. I emphasize again, non-interest banking. Mr. Speaker, there are citizen bankers here at the World Youth Bank. I make bold to say that we're in a capitalist economy. I make bold to say that the banking system is put on the basis of interest-related, growing money. Mr. Speaker, there is no banking howsoever like we got here that is interest-free. Mr. Speaker, I am more worried by the prayers of this motion. Currently, what the motion seeks to do exists in our banking sector, but based on what you want to. There are banks who set out now to do non-interest banking, profit and sharing, maybe they, they are the finance LPOs, they do that. That is their specialty. Asking CBN, urging them to mandate banks, will be giving them loads. Tomorrow, when banks fail, they say, well, you force us to do non-profit. That's why we can't pay people their money. We are setting a dangerous precedent. Let anybody who is willing to do non-profit, non-interest, to go and do. Let banks who are positioned them. Let me give an example of UBA. I don't know what uh, the uh, my auntie is even listening. You will not force UBA to go and do profit and sharing. Tomorrow, I can't get my heart Yes, God is alive. Mr. Figa, I think that in the capitalist economy, the forces of demand and supply, reasonably guided, should operate. If you alter these indices, it will result to what we cannot explain. We know about the suku, the fatila, all this water. It's operative. People go there. It's working. I may go to say, there is no state that operates successfully non-interest banking, not to talk of Nigeria with a fragile economy. One of the prayers says, if I may read, as beautiful as it is, it says, urge CBN and also urge Central Bank of Nigeria to review its currency policy on non-interest banking that banks may begin to do that. Already, my argument is this, so I can sit down, is that banks who wish to do that are already on need. Some banks are established on need. Making it a bank policy, banks that already established and frame themselves on interest yielding. You know, ask them to sell none, maybe they too dangerous. Let what is remain. However, Mr. Speaker, we know about agricultural banks, NYSA, and all what not. What are they doing professionally? I do not know, but they promote this business. Federal government has obtained a lot of bonds on Sokuk and all what not. Let it so be. But running across board that CBN will mandate banks will lead to colossal failures of banks. Who will rely on this for not being able to pay? Therefore, my prayer is if the author will agree. Step this down for us to do more legislative work. Like I said, the Committee on Capital Market just returned only this morning on various training. This is inclusive. And one of the things we resolve that there's no bank that is interest free, that it cannot function flow, but we want to see. So, therefore, on that note, I pray sincerely that this motion be stepped down for us to do more legislative input so we don't resolve 
what gives us problem. You should also call CBN and talk with them and negotiate with them before we come back to do a resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your submission, you said it was a beautifully crafted motion. You also said, um, yeah, that there is no where, where there is non-interest banking. And then you went ahead to say some people are already doing it. So I don't know which one it is. And then finally, your final submission was that we should step it down for further legislative work. And from my understanding, I'm glad that you're not saying it's a bad motion and you should not go. You're saying step it down for further legislative work. And I believe when we do further legislative work, it is done at the committee level, correct? That is why we send motions and bills to the committees for them to do further legislative work. So I think the right avenue for further legislative work will be at the committee level. Now, the committee, level, committee can come back and say, no, 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 this has no merit. Uh, but they have time to look at it. Well, your, your, your submissions were very brilliant. Yeah, and you have a point, but I just think for whatever it is worth, uh, so that we don't throw the baby away with the bathwater and look at, the, the, let the committee do its work. We have a banking and currency committee. Uh, so we'll just